Next, I would like to bring to the stage and introduce to you our Baltimore City Health Commissioner, Dr. Lena Wynn. and Baltimore City State's Attorney, Marilyn Mosby. Good morning, Baltimore. Someone asked me last week, why are you going to the Women's March? And I said, where do I begin? How about with my patient, Sarah? She was 28 years old. She was born with a heart defect and she could not get health insurance because of a pre-existing condition. She couldn't pay for her medications and one day she went into heart failure. By the time she came to the ER, her heart had stopped. We did everything we could, but her heart never beat again. The official cause of death was heart failure, but the real cause of death, failure of our system. <laughs> failure of our society. <laughs> failure of our humanity. I march today because healthcare should be a right, not a privilege only to those who can afford it. The Affordable Care Act has enabled millions of Americans to have health insurance, including 40,000 Baltimoreans. So tell me, does it make sense to take that away and roll back the gains that we made? Tell me, does it make sense to knowingly cause human suffering to children, families, and seniors? Today, I march for my patients. I also march for immigrants. I'm an immigrant myself. When I was eight years old, my parents and I came to America. We were granted political asylum. We were lucky. I don't know where I would be if our country's policies were different but I sure wouldn't be here as the health commissioner of Baltimore under the, mayor's, under the leadership of Mayor Pugh. I'm also a new mother. My son, Eli, is five months old. Today, I march for Eli because I will not have my son, our children, grow up in a society of racism, sexism, misogyny, bigotry, white supremacy, homophobia, transphobia, denial of science, denial of climate change, denial of the basic human values of dignity and compassion. I will not have my son, our children, grow up accepting of the status quo, the reality of injustice, and all these things that just do not make sense. I end with the words of Senator Elizabeth Warren who said, we can whimper, we can whine, or we can fight back. We come here to stand shoulder to shoulder to make clear we are here. We will not be silent. We will not play dead. We will fight for what we believe in. Thank you, Baltimore.